in the book you discuss how young earth believers, uh, their belief is that the sun was created on the fourth day, I believe right. it was. However, you allude to the fact that you believe that the sun was created actually before Genesis 1. If, if you believe that, does that affect the validity of Scripture in any way, shape, or form? Well, it's important not only to take the Bible literally, but to take it consistently. Genesis 1 is not the only biblical text that takes you through the content of the six creation days. Uh, Job 37, 38, and 39 do. And that the content of Job predates that of Genesis. And so a lot of skeptics will critique Genesis for what it leaves out. And it says, well, the important details it leaves out are already covered in the book of Job. But Proverbs 8 and Psalm 104 are two other texts that take you through the content of these six days. And relative to what's going on in creation day one, Job 38 refers to a period early in Earth's history when the clouds blanketed the earth and kept the seas dark. So notice in the book of Job, it's giving us the reason why it was dark on the face of the deep. Genesis 1, 2. It was dark not because there were no stars, there was no sun. It was dark because the cloud layer of the primordial earth was opaque and light couldn't pass through. Now, being a young astronomy student, I realize all planets the size of the earth, with the distance they are from the, our star of the sun, would begin with opaque atmospheres. Uh, the miracle of creation day one is God transforming our atmosphere from opaque to translucent. And notice the text says about creation day one, let there be light. Doesn't say that God created the light or made the light, it says let the light be. The light was already there. When God created the universe, he created stars. And so light was available throughout the universe, but it was dark on the surface of the waters because of that cloud layer. Then in creation day four, God transforms her atmosphere from translucent, where light passes through, but it's overcast, to where now the clouds break. And what does the text say? Let there be the great lights, so that they may serve as signs to mark seasons, days, and years. All this vastness that God created with the galaxies and the moon, the stars, where do we fit in, in, his, in the big picture of what God has done? Well, the big picture is we need the entirety of the universe to have a planet in which advanced life can exist. God literally created the vastness of the cosmos with its hundreds of billions of galaxies so we can have this one planet in which we human beings can exist and fulfill the purpose for which God created us.